Jacob. Hello, viewers. It's uh, me, Indy Jacob, and I'm here to talk about that obscure little cool cat named uh, Mario. And now that I finally have my Dr. Pepper and I've screamed at the neighborhood cats, I'm I'm ready to finally talk about this game. Super Mario Odyssey! This is a critically acclaimed romp of a game. It's not exactly the greatest Mario game in my honest opinion, and you, you may not have asked for that, but nevertheless, it's here it, it, in all of its weird glory. What the hell is that? Oh, and if I haven't already said or it wasn't already implied, there is going to be spoilers in this video. Well, well kind of. Like, I'm going to be showing off bosses in this video, so if that's not really your thing, or you gonna just don't like that, you might want to leave because I really don't want to spoil anything for you and I'd rather you go into the game as vanilla as possible as I did. Trust me, the game is so much better that way. With that out of the way, let's go. I'm not gonna say it like Mario. Now I've had a pretty good time running around the different kingdoms doing different tasks and taking cool little screenshots that I probably shouldn't be taking and I've come to the conclusion that this game it was, it was pretty good. I still have a soft spot in my heart though for the older Mario games like Sunshine and 64. But you know what? You did a good Nintendo. And I'm very proud that this is the next main entry in the Mario series and I'm just, I'm grinning for excitement with what's to come. Now my favorite part about the game by far were the boss fights. I mean, I just, that's what I felt like talking about with you guys today because I felt like it deserved a little attention. I don't think a lot of people are gonna talk about these, so that's what I'm here for. So Mario this time around isn't fighting the usual fare of a big Goomba or a big bomb guy, but instead he's fighting that thing and these rabbits that are apparently Bowser's wedding planners? What? This game is so bizarre and strange and honestly, like, what is Nintendo's obsession with Mario and rabbits? I mean, they're in here, they're in there, and and that happened unfortunately, and now they're in here too, and it's, I mean, it's, it's fine, you do you, but it, what dark, twisted obsession do you have, Miyamoto? So for the past few years, I kind of feel like the Mario universe has, has been somewhat, like, overgrown by these boring, bland boss fights, and the last time I really remember being even somewhat remotely engrossed by a boss encounter in a Mario game was probably from one of the Galaxy games, because 3D Land, the new Super Mario Brothers series, and 3D World just had these, like, insurance salesman versions of bosses, and my god, that was, it was just a bit much. Like, between the design and their movesets, like, they just didn't really have a lot going on there, because usually they were just some sort of extension of what was already in the Mario universe, so they didn't really feel original, but I would even go as far as to say it wasn't really just the boss's fault, it was also the lack of abilities from our little Italian friend here. But in Mario Odyssey, Mario's moveset is boosted by including things like dodge rolling, diving, and the obvious capture mechanic that's been marketed like crazy, so it makes boss fights feel so much more intense because you have just more options at your disposal. So instead of you just standing around waiting and dodging stuff, you actually have to like get into the action and you have to capture something and hit something and it's just there's just a lot more going on here. But yeah, at the end of the day, do you just end up jumping on some of them? Yep. But getting to that point is so much more interesting than some of the other games because by having more variety in the boss encounters, they require you to be a lot more nimble, more versatile, more cat-like. And yes, I, I really, as I just said, that this game requires you to be more cat-like than even the game that shoved everyone in a cat suit. I know. But another reason I'm loving these so much is the bosses have some changes throughout the fights. It's not always the same rinse and repeat nature of previous ones, because maybe they add some more enemies, or they switch up their patterns, or they require you to use a specific enemy that you've captured to defeat them, you know, in a, in a way, they're almost Zelda-like in their designs. I just feel like they require so much more of the player, and that gets me so excited because I can't be half asleep while I'm playing this, like, I gotta be on my toes while I'm fighting these things. Like this, for instance, I gotta dodge the spiky balls falling from the sky, and I gotta dodge these twirling spike balls. This is, <laughs> this is such a terrible description. While assuming the form of this fireball, so I mean, there's really not, there's not a lot that I can just lay back on. I mean, I really have to duck and dodge and dip and dive and... How did we get into a dodgeball reference? Now, were these the hardest boss encounters I've ever come across? No. They're not exactly pushovers in terms of difficulty, but they're not really on the level of Dark Souls or anything, and that's that's perfectly fine. I'm not I'm not looking for something that hard, but I do want something that you know keeps me on my toes enough to retain my interest. But they're not so over the top that that I'm going to worry too much about winning. Now, normally I would chalk that up as a bad for the game or a negative for the game, but in here it really didn't bother me much at all. And I honestly think that's just because I was enjoying the wackiness and zaniness and outlandish nature of these, because all the enemies in this game are just so different. For instance, let's just let's look at an example here for a minute. These two bosses are from the same game. 
One looks like a uh, Kirby boss and the other one looks like a cross between Monster Hunter and Satan. You are taught so well during these boss fights, like how to beat them. Like there was never a time where I questioned or needed to look up how to beat a boss. And I love that. I love when games do that. I love when they're designed that well to where there's a small visual cue where I'm like, hmm, I wonder if I do this. Yep, that's what I do to beat them. Awesome. I'd like to uh, show off a brief segment of my performance here because I was actually a little proud of it. So uh, let's all let's all grab our popcorns and uh, watch in unison. Super Mario Odyssey is a is a really fun game. Like I'm really happy with the direction that the developers took this time around, and I I can't wait to see what else they have in store for us in the coming years. But I, I gotta say, like, I love these bosses. I'm, I'm just gonna keep playing. I'm gonna keep getting better, keep getting stronger and faster at facing these guys. But if you excuse me, I've got some rabbits to hunt. I actually probably could have uh, killed myself if I uh, hit that on my face. <laughs> 